Hey guys, let's put a whole scene together with the Piper Pack using Simple Sci-Fi. So go ahead and launch your Pro version, select GeoGen, select the bottom level Piper D-Pack, select the top level Piper D-Pack, and once again adjust the top and bottom density levels, and adjust the top and bottom size levels as well. Also adjust the seed value. Very cool. And when you're happy with your scene, save the file, create a new file, go to File Append, and select the file we just saved, append the GeoGen collection, turn off the collections that made the scene, Set the material preview to 1 in the modifier. Change the material to CW Gen material. And I'm going to change the side map like I did before just to give it a different color. Very good. And experiment with this node setup. I'm telling you, it's got a lot of potential, a lot of good things going on. This time I'm going to do a metallic scene. And I'm going to use the roughness a little bit so it's not so strong and that looks pretty cool so I'm going to add a dirt node then I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to go into our setup and I'm going to even add the dirt node by the group put it in the base in the base color and adjust your dirty levels and that's looking pretty good I like this so I'm going to change the dots and I'm going to add a little bit more emission so it's a little bit more brighter. I'm liking this scene. The next thing I'm going to do is add a camera. And I'm going to do my camera adjustments. Uh, I'm going to go to view, camera to view, and I'm going to set up my composition for the scene. And I like this setup right here, and that's good. Go to render view on the viewport, add a point light, and adjust it. Next thing, make a copy of the point light and adjust it before. And I'm going to make one more, repeat this for one more, and so I have a front light, and I'm going to adjust the lights. Okay, fog. Now I'm going to, well, actually I'm going to quick save file, and now I'm going to add a cube, and under object properties in the viewport display drop down, I'm going to change texture to wire. I'm going to add a new material to the cube, and in here I'm going to... Uh, shader editor, I'm going to remove the BSDF shader and now I'm going to add a volume shader from the shader drop down. Adjust the settings to your liking, steel mine or whatever you want to do. So now I'm going to add adjustments to the settings and the color management. And I'm just going to tweak this a little bit more. I'm going to do a quick file save, uh, set up my render settings. And I'm going to render my scene. And once again, uh, there you have it. There's the scene. After a little bit of brightness, contrast, and some sharpening, here's the final image. I hope this video helps you with creating scenes with Simple Sci-Fi Pro and the Piper Pack. And as always, take care and thank you for all your support. Until next time, bye-bye.